Hi, this is Julie with Be Holic, and today I want to show you a really simple project, but one that is very useful. I want to show you how to make an eyeglass holder necklace. I have an example here, and this is actually a more complicated one, but you have this single loop that's held down at the bottom. You have a long strand of beads, and I've just used beading wire here and crimp beads. So this is an easy way to make it, but it takes a little bit more time because you're using a lot of beads. And the way that this particular finding works is if you're familiar with the eyeglass holders that have the two loops and you attach one to each end, this works a little bit differently. You hang it around your neck, you take your eyeglasses, and you just feed the arm through, and it hangs like that. So this is one way of making it, it's with the beads. I want to show you another way which is a lot quicker, so if you're making these as gifts, or one for yourself, you'll know how to do it. So we're gonna do this whole project together. So you're gonna need some chain. I've cut myself three feet of chain. I think I'm only gonna use two feet, but I always like to have a little bit more. So to begin with, I'm gonna cut my chain into four inch segments. I just have a pair of flush cutters right here. You'll see there's a large loop, a little loop, and a large loop. So I wanna make sure that I end in the large loops. That means I'm always gonna be cutting small loops. So I'll cut here through this link, which is a small one. Just make a snip. So I've got that four inch segment. You're gonna want this to be at least 24 inches long to get over your head and you're probably gonna want it a bit longer. Another four inch. Now I've got my six pieces of chain, four inches long each. Of course, six times four is 24, so I know this can be at least 24 inches long. I'm gonna hold these up, make sure that they are even. If I maybe measured a little bit wrong, I'll just cut off one of the links. It looks like two of them ended up with an extra link. I'm just gonna cut that off. Now to connect these, I can put away my ruler. I want to make these little segments here, which just have a simple loop at each end. And these measure about three quarters inch. And then when I add a jump ring, they're going to be about an inch long. So that's going to add some extra length too. And it's going to make it so my necklace ends up being more like 30 inches instead of 24 inches. So to make this little, this little segment here, I'm going to take an eye pin. I've got a three millimeter check bead, an eight millimeter check bead, and a three millimeter. I'm going to slide those down to the bottom. I'm going to hold it so that my loop is facing the direction I want it to. Because when I make the other loop, I want it to match. So I'm just going to hold those down. Take my wire looping pliers. Just go ahead, crimp that. It does a lot of the work for me. Rotate, make sure my loops match. There we go. I've got a perfect, simple loop. I'm just going to cut right there. Take my chain nose pliers, flatten that out, and I've got a segment. I did the calculations ahead of time. I know I'm gonna need seven of these little connector pieces for my six pieces of chain. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make them. I'm gonna make them identical. You can do whatever you like, of course. But this is such a quick and easy project. I've now got seven of these little segments. I'm gonna connect them with four millimeter jump rings to my chain. Two other options would be if you wanted to do it, you could just open your simple wire loop the same way you would open a jump ring and connect it to the chain that way. Or if your particular chain consists of open links, mine are all closed, but if yours is open links, you could always open the link of the chain and connect it to the simple wire loop of your little beaded segment. So those are a couple options. I am choosing to do jump rings for this particular project. So I'm just going to take a jump ring and open it. Connect one of my dangles to it, one of my beaded segments and connect that then. 
to my eyeglass ring, close my jump ring, and then I'm just going to open another one. Again, connect onto the other side of my beaded segment, and then the end link of one of my chain segments. A lot of people prefer bent nose pliers for doing jump rings. I actually like the precision of these. They've got such a nice tip to them, but definitely do whatever you're comfortable with. Then on the other end of the chain segment, just attach another beaded segment. And then open another jump ring and you get the idea. You're just going to go all the way around until you end up back at your starting point on the other side of your loop. We're now down to our last little beaded segment. We're going to attach it the same way we've done all the others. Just opening a jump ring it through the simple loop. Oops. Through the end chain link. Closing it back up. One more jump ring and our necklace is going to be done. Before I'm going to attach this one, I'm actually going to just hold up my, whoops, Grab that again in a moment. I'm just going to hold up my chain, let it spin because it's gotten a little bit tangled when I've done this. It's going to naturally just let the kinks out. Go ahead, pick up that open jump ring again. And then through that loop. Close it back up. And we have a finished necklace. And before I sign off here, I want to definitely just measure this really quick and show you the amount of length we've gained. So you'll remember we had six segments that were four inches long each, which gives us a total length of 24 inches. And now if we measure this, we've got it's up to 15 inches. So now our necklace is 30 inches long, which is about what you want for hanging around your neck. You could actually even go a little bit longer and there's no clasp needed. It's going to slide right over your head. So in no time at all, you'll have a finished necklace. And you can see we've got very simple choice here. Here was our more elaborate, colorful choice. So you'll have a lot of different options when you're playing with these eyeglass holder loops.